Well, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. My heart belongs to Jesus. My heart belongs to Jesus. Mi corazón pertenece a Jesús. Mi, cor mi corazón pertenece a Jesús. And um, good morning, good evening, good night. Talking about everybody else, I need to turn the volume down on my other phone so that uh, people in the Philippines and around the world will not start dialing. Amen. Um, by the grace and the love and the mercy of God, uh, you will be listening to the voice of evangelist Jesse Charo in the USA. Amen. And uh, today is February the 14th, Valentine's Day. We don't celebrate Valentine's Day, but everybody else is. And um, people are talking about love, love. You know, everybody wants to fall in love. Everybody wants to be loved. Everybody, um, Valentine's Day right here in the city of Las Vegas. Um, February 14th, 2020, it's almost like the whole world uh, would come to the city of Las Vegas just to get married around the world in the city of Las Vegas just to get married. So I figured I would take my Bible and uh, go look up some uh, verses concerning love. Amen. Concerning love. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about <clears throat> uh, what does God have to say concerning uh, love. Um, we remember John 3.16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, uh, but that the world through him, the Lord Jesus Christ, might be saved. Amen. So, uh, um, once again, happy uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, all you people watching around the world. And I don't think you're gonna see me. I really want. I really want to really buy, but I just brush my teeth, and I'm gonna save it for a little bit later. But uh, strawberry, chocolate strawberry, with a little cafe de ole. Uh, we're gonna save that for later. Uh, that my daughter brought him home, and uh, uh, I'm so blessed. Amen. So happy Valentine's to all of you, and happy Love Day, happy everything, and uh, um, not only that, concerning the love of God, He sent forth His beloved Son, in whom He is well pleased, okay? So because of that, we became children of God, sons of God, amen? So the best thing about Valentine's, if you ask me, is to know that we have been adopted, amen, we're not orphans, and uh, those of you, if you think you're lonely, if you think that, hey, you know what, you don't have nobody, uh, nobody loves you, well, guess what, God loves you so much, amen, and, uh, but uh, it's, it's not just God loves you, there, there, we have to do something, and uh, I'll read a verse from John chapter 1, verse, I'll start reading at verse 10. John 1, 10. Um, and I'll read this word. Father, just help me, help me, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. Jesus, help me. Abba, Father, help me uh, to read your word and to share a love a message. For Valentine's Day, February the 14th, 2020. John chapter 1, verse 10. Talking about Jesus. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. The world, the world. The world did not know him. All over the world. 
<clears throat> he came. Uh, he was in the world, and the world was made through him, and and the world did not know him. He came to his own. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. The Lord Jesus Christ. They did not receive him. You've received him, or maybe, maybe today, February 14, 2020, maybe you will receive him. Today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow is promised no man. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. Verse 12, but as many as received him, the Lord Jesus Christ, to them he gave the rights and the power to become sons of God, children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of men, but born of God. Born again, uh, and we're going to talk about how God is going to transform our hearts. Uh, amen. It is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. See, before we were without the Spirit of God in our hearts, but now He has shed abroad His love. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show you something that is so beautiful that's going to set you free. Uh, I'm going to go to First John chapter 3. First John chapter 3. I was going to go live on Facebook, but then you have all these people uh, texting and uh, questions and First um, John way over by uh, the book of Jude over by the book of Revelation you will find First uh, John chapter 3 verses uh, 1 and 2 listen behold what manner of love here we go talking about the love of God behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us that we should be called the children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us because it did not know Him. Listen, beloved. Now, see, before we were not, but now. Now, either you're a child of God or you're not. But listen, but now, because of that, you receive the Lord Jesus Christ, your personal Lord and Savior. Um, beloved, now... We are children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be, but we know that when He is revealed, we shall be like Him. We're going to be like Jesus. We're going to have a glorified body just like His, and not only that, we are going to see Him. Okay? For we shall see Him as He is. This is so powerful. i got to read it again. Beloved, now we are the children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be, but we know that when He is revealed, we shall be like Him. For we shall see Him as He is. Verse 3, And everyone who has this hope in Him purifies himself just, as Jesus is pure, okay? So, uh, um, I'm going to go to the book of uh, Ephesians chapter 3. This is going to be so beautiful. Ephesians chapter 3. I love the Word of God. Okay. Ephesians chapter 3, uh, beginning at verse 14. This is going to show you whether you are a child of God or you're not. <clears throat> so for Valentine's Day, it's just a mark. Um, uh, February the 14th, uh, 2020. You want to make sure. You see, because on Valentine's Day, it's not about a boy. It's not about a girl. It's not about a husband. It's not about a wife. It's not about our children. It's, it's about the love of God in our hearts. Amen. That's a true, happy uh, Valentine's uh, a gift. It's His Son, Jesus Christ, that came and, and was uh, crucified, was buried, resurrected, 
ascended on high and he is our high priest and he's praying for you and he's praying for me. Ephesians 3.14 Okay, for this reason Paul is writing and he says, For this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you and me, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might, with power, through his spirit, through his Holy Spirit in our inner man. Listen, this is going to get really good. Verse 17, that Christ Jesus may dwell in our hearts. Wow. That Christ may dwell in our hearts through faith that we being rooted and grounded in love, rooted, grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and the length and the depth and the height. Listen, to really know the love of Jesus Christ, to really know the love of Jesus Christ, which passes knowledge that you and I may be able, may be filled, that you and I may be filled, you know, filled with all, not just partial, not just a quarter of a tank. When you go fill the, when you go to the gas station uh, and you just buy $5 worth, <laughs> $10 worth, you say, you know what, fill it up, fill up the tank. <clears throat> that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. The Holy Ghost comes and overshadows you, fills you up until you start, start bubbling over. Amen. And uh, what goes inside comes out. And if there's nothing inside, what's going to come out? If garbage goes in, garbage comes out. But if the Spirit of God goes in, then you're going to be uh, speaking uh, beautiful. You're going to be, amen. You're not going to be talking like uh, the old cholos back in San Antonio, Texas, in those courts, you know, Lanier High School, Tefoya uh, Junior High, or Tefoya Elementary School. Listen, <laughs> we're new people. We're new creatures in Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. Brother Gilbert, he's still in, the, uh, in San Antonio. And we, we, were, we were gang buddies back there. And man, we, 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 we're so lucky. We're so blessed, not lucky, but we are so blessed that God has kept us until the day of redemption, until the day, until today, okay? Blessed be the name of the Lord that God has allowed me to be 66 years old. And uh, this year, 2020, I will be, uh, I will be, and I confess it, declare, <laughs> uh, I'll be 67 in November the 11th, 2020. Amen. Watch. That I may be filled with the fullness of God. Now, unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly and above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in thee in us. Uh, according to the power that works in the inside of us. Uh, 19 verse 20. Okay. Paul writes about Jesus, Holy Spirit, power, in our hearts to be full of God. Okay. Paul is writing there. You know what? Says, I want you guys to be full, full of the power of God. Full of the power of the Holy Ghost. Acts 1.8. And you shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come, come inside you. It's going to give you the power of the Holy Spirit to become witnesses. Amen. <clears throat> if we're having trouble in witnessing... I said, you know what, Lord, hallelujah, just fill me with your spirit, oh God. Let me go outside. Let me go out there and, and just testify for you. I want to be a witness for Jesus. Amen. Get full of the Holy Ghost. Get full of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now listen. Now in Romans chapter 5, verse 5, let me go there. I wasn't going to go there. I was just going to give you the scriptures and let you go do your homework. 
Romans 5.5, 5, Romans 5.5. 5. Now, uh, now, hope does not disappoint because the love of God, the love of God, you will not be disappointed and you won't be a disappointment. Now, hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Wow. That's what makes us children of God. As you born again. Born again is that you were born of, the, of your mother's uh, flesh and blood. But, uh, but being born again is by the Spirit of the Lord that comes in the inside of us and quickens up. Quickens us, makes us alive. Uh, I'm going to jump down to verse 8. But God demonstrates, okay? God demonstrates His own love towards us. In that, in that while we were yet sinners, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us, right? And then when we learn that, we go back to uh, John 1, 12, and then we receive him as our Lord and Savior. So Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus. Uh, your beloved son in whom you are well pleased. Okay, so uh, here, Romans chapter 5, verses 5 and 8. God's Holy Spirit has been poured out into our hearts by his Holy Spirit who was given to us and to you if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, you know. Um, um, it'll happen. It'll happen. Uh, it happened uh, to me so now now that we are children of God, now that we have received the Holy Spirit, now that we have been born again, now that we are sons and daughters of God Nothing should be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Nothing should be able to separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ. Nothing. Don't let, don't let nothing. Don't let a man. Don't let a woman. Don't let... Forget it. It's not going to happen. You know, um, uh, if you read uh, Romans chapter 8 verse 35 Romans 8 35 um, I'm going to take time I'm going to take time 35 who shall separate us from the love of Christ who's going to separate me you no way Jose who shall separate us from the love of Christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution, or famine, or naked, na nakedness, or peril, or sword. For it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long. We are counted as sheep to the slaughter. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors through Him, through Jesus, who loves us. For I am persuaded. You gotta be persuaded. You gotta be. You gotta make up your mind. He says, you know what? They will, whatever neighbor, enemy, whatever men, women, what? I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come, neither height nor depth nor any other created thing shall be able to separate me and you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Don't let nothing separate you. Amen. <clears throat> Romans chapter 8, verses 35 through 39. Now listen. Uh, we are sons or children of God by His adoption. By adoption. Adopt, uh, adoption. We've been adopted okay 
<clears throat> I remember when my when my dad wanted to uh, he was so busy working and we were still young and he wanted to give us up for adoption you know but here is God here is God he said you know what you are mine you are my children you are my daughters I'm, I'm gonna you are mine you have been adopted through the Spirit of God through the blood of Jesus amen through the work on the cross Amen. We have been reconciled back to God. That's a happy Valentine's Day. Uh, that's a happy Thanksgiving also. Amen. So we are sons. We are children of God by adoption, by His Holy Spirit. Uh, Romans 8, 15. I'm going to go there. Romans 8, <clears throat> 15. Good. I love this one. Romans 8, 15 and 16. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear. If you live in fear, if you are tormented. See, because fear torments. People, they go inside the blankets and they're just tormented. They need to be set free. And you shall know the truth. And the truth is going to make you free. You receive the spirit of the Lord. And, and, and you know what? You're not going to be in bondage anymore to fear. Fear, when, when the Holy Spirit of love, joy, peace comes in you, fear has to move out. Okay, because you cannot have the Spirit of God and the Spirit of fear. Okay, God will keep him in perfect peace whose, whose mind the, the, <laughs> is kept on him. You just stay focused on him. You just the storm's coming. Well, you know what? My my eyes are focused on Jesus, the author and the perfecter and the finisher of my faith. And guess what? There ain't nothing gonna separate me from the love of Christ because I am more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens me. To Him be all the praise and glory and honor. Because if it wasn't for Him, we dead, Baba. Okay. So now. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit, the Holy Spirit of adoption. Of, you've been adopted, the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. We say, thank you, Abba, Father. That's what that means when people, when the spirit of God comes in you and you say, Abba, Abba means father, Abba means daddy, right? So when you say, Daddy, I need you. Daddy, I love you. Daddy, happy Valentine's Day. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Daddy, I'm hungry. Daddy, I need this. Daddy, I need. Daddy, I need. Daddy, I need. You have not because you ask not. Ask and you don't doubt. You're going to have it. Why? Because your, your Heavenly Father loves you so much. And He wants to give you the desires of your heart if they are good. But if he knows that, that this thing is it, 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 it's, it's against you and it's just going to hurt you, he's not going to let you have it. You can go get it by yourself and get in trouble. But obedience is better than sacrifice. He says, Lord, I'm just going to wait on you. I'm just going to wait on you. If he gives it to me, praise the Lord. If he don't give it to me, praise the Lord anyhow. For the Spirit of Himself, the Spirit of God, the Spirit Himself, bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. We are children of God. Ooh, beautiful. With Galatians 4.4, 4, Galatians chapter 4, Verse, verse 4, 5, 6, and 7. We are not slaves anymore, but children and sons of God. we got to read this one because there's something there. Uh, Galatians 4. I saw it earlier and I said, this is so beautiful. Because either you're in bondage, either you're in bondage, or you're free. And whom the Son set free shall be free indeed. Galatians 4.4 4. Galatians 4.4 4. Okay 
But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law. You're either under the law or you're set free by his spirit under grace. Either you're living and walking by the grace of God or you are in bondage under a law. Don't let nobody put you under the law because when they put you under the law, you become a slave to whoever is putting you under bondage. You're free, Baba. Stay free. I'm going to read it again. Galatians 4, 4. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, in whom he is well pleased, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem, redeem, I've been redeemed, to redeem those, redeem those, I hope you are one of those, to redeem those who were under the law. Slavery. Man, I went to this church once and I saw the sons of God being enslaved, putting under the law in bondage like slaves. To redeem those who were under the law that we might receive adoption. You've been adopted as sons. So don't let, you don't have to go back to prison. You don't have to be shackled me. Again, again, he, he broke, he broke the chains of death of everything. We've been set free. Free. Stay free indeed. Amen. Happy Valentine's Day. That was a good one. To redeem those who were under the law. You're either under the law or you're under grace. That we might receive <laughs> that hey, that we might receive the adoption as sons. And because you are sons, now, now listen. Now, because you are sons. God has sent forth the Holy Spirit of His Son, Jesus, into our hearts, crying out again, Abba, Father. Spirit of Jesus Christ, God has shed abroad in our hearts the Spirit, the Holy Spirit of Jesus, the Spirit of Jesus. Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father of the power of the majesty on high. Jesus is sitting on it. Not only that, I go and prepare a, 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 a place, a mansion. I'm going to build this. He's not lazy. I don't just sit in the chair and there's a rocking chair and getting old. And No, 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 no. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I, I, I. I'm not going to send Obama, Boo Boo, Mimi, Trump. He ain't going to say, nah. He, he ain't not even going to send the Virgin Mary. You be careful with all that stuff. He's not going to send another one that's going to come over like in the Philippines. I was in the Philippines 12 months, uh, and, and th there's a guy. I, I, I'm not going to call him no pastor, no apostle, no bishop, no nothing. He's a phony baloney walking around. He used to say, I am the son of God. And guess what? One million members in his church in the Philippines saying, I am the son of God. Well, guess what happened? Uh, I don't know, but a half a year ago, he got promoted. He got promoted. See, because the devil started working with him, as the devil has been working with him for a long time. The him, he's the son. Peter, who do, who do the people say that I, the son of man is? Peter said, well, hello, you are the Christ the son of the living God. Peter, flesh and blood has not revealed it. You didn't go to Rhema Bible College and they taught you that. The spirit of God, the spirit of my father had revealed that to you. My father which art in heaven, he revealed that to you. So this phony baloney guy going around saying that he is the son of God, he got promoted. He said, well, hey, wait a minute. Hey, let me think here. Let me... 
We think about this one. I'm the son of God. Therefore, God and the son are one. <gasps> the son and the father are one. He said, that makes me the father. So now he's going around telling everybody, guess what? I got promoted. Guess what? I was just thinking and God showed me, the God of this world, that it blinded him for many years, that he showed him a new thing, that now he just, he don't have to go around saying that he is the son of God. Because if they're one with God, the father, then he is the father now. He's saying, hey, guess what? Papa here, baby. Mm. That'll make you drink. And because you are sons, uh, <laughs> because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts that crying out, Abba, Father. Okay, so here's a, here's a beautiful revelation. Listen, Jesus lives in my heart. Well, how can Jesus live in your heart? Because how can Jesus live right here? Well, how big is Jesus then? But this big? I was gonna tell you something, a funny, funny joke, but it's no time for joking right now because this is serious. But I, I saw a mother that told her uh, one year old, one year old little boy. The mother tells the one year old little boy, he says, uh, how's Jesus doing? How's Jesus doing today? Eh, okay. He says, can I see? Can I see? So. He opens the door of the little boy's heart. He said, let me see. I want to see Jesus in there. He says, oh, Jesus is getting fat. I'm going like, that's clever. That, that's funny. That, that's funny. I love it. I love it. But the truth is, is that Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. He is our high priest. Amen. He's praying for you. He's praying for me. And he's praying for all of them out there. That's why he he had to stretch out. He says, uh, all of you that come unto me, come unto Jesus. Amen. Uh, Matthew 11, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. Galatians 4, verse 7. Therefore, you are no longer a slave you are no longer a slave. Don't ever, don't ever let anybody put you under the law, under bondage, telling you, hey, come here, Baba, you my slave today. Slave. If you're apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastors, teachers, got you in bondage you say um, uh, excuse me I'm a child of God don't you ever put try to put me in bondage a slave your slave I'm the slave of Jesus I submit to Jesus I I, 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 I do what he tells me to do we are doers of the word not just hearers only I mean I'm, I'm trying to give you a message that for you to be free. Valentine's Day, February 22, uh, February 14, 2020. You're going to be set free today by the Word of God. Uh, you need to go back and start the video again. You need to share this video because somebody might be in bondage and they're inside of a church. Okay. Therefore, you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if, if a son, either you're if a son or you're not a son of God, you're not a child of God, you are a child of God, you want to make sure if, you know what, open, open your heart. Behold, I stand at the door. Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, he said, you know what, he's going to flood, he's going to flood you with his love. He said, what took you so long? You see, he, he will not force himself in. If he could, he'd save the whole world. But uh, John 1, 12, 
for as many as open their heart and says, I receive you, Holy Spirit, I receive you, Jesus, the Spirit of Jesus comes in our hearts. Okay? Therefore, you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God, an heir of God through Christ. A lot of times I joke with this and I say, you see, you're an heir, you're a millionaire. You're a millionaire 2020. I'm going to repeat it. Today is February 14th, 2020. You are a billionaire, a millionaire. Okay, you mark this, open your Bible and put uh, Galatians chapter 4, verse uh, 7. Galatians 4, 7. Go in there and put today's date on it. Here we go. Okay. Uh, 02, 14, 20, 20. Jesse was here. Okay. And that's your word for today. That's your word today. That's the prophecy. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Okay. God the Father has predestined you and me. God the Father had predestined us. Okay. He said, you know what? Jesse's lost in Las Vegas. I know. See, he had predestined that Jesus would have came a long time ago, <laughs> before before I was born, before <laughs> when I was in my mother's belly, he knew everything about me. He knew everything about you. That's why he had to send his son. We're just passing through, baby. In a little while, we won't be here no more. And the world that did not receive him, he came to his own and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, the, the Lord Jesus Christ to them, he gave the rights and the power to become sons of God, children of God. So you're either a child of God or you're a child of the other dude. <clears throat> God the Father has predestined us to adoption. Adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself to the pleasure of of his will by the redemption through his blood the blood of Jesus Christ Ephesians 1 Ephesians 1 oh glory I have time I'm, I'm not live on Facebook because then I start seeing all this and I get distracted uh, Ephesians chapter 1 now here's the letter that Paul wrote, do you know who Paul was? He was Saul. Saul. You're either a Saul or you're a Paul. You're a Paola. 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 You're a new creature in Jesus Christ. Ephesians 1.1. 1, 1. I'm going to begin there. Through 7. Okay. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God. By the will of God. He's an apostle. He's writing a letter to us, to the, the people. To the saints who are in Las Vegas, I'm sorry, uh, who are in Ephesus, and faithful. Mm, faithful. In Christ Jesus. Okay. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and another person, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. It just it, leave it alone. Don't, don't mix it. Verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father. The God and Father of Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, just as He chose us. He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, 
that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love. Happy Valentine's Day. Jesus loved you. God loved you. Having predestined, listen, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to Himself according to the good pleasure of His will. To the praise of the glory of His grace by which He made us he has made us accepted. We are have been accepted. Either you're accepted or you're not. Either you have been deleted from Facebook, uh, blocked, whatever, but God would never delete you. God would never block you. The only way, the only way God block you, you're doing wrong stuff. You're doing wrong stuff. People they say, you know what? They say, hey, you know what? I need I don't need I don't even need to see you no more. Be because you shall know them by their fruit. You have, however they're working with the saints, however they're treating the saints, it's the same way Jesus is gonna treat you. Hey, I'm sorry. He made us accepted in the beloved, and the beloved is Jesus Christ. In him we have the redemption, in him. Jesus Christ, we have the redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sin, according to the riches of His grace, to the, according to the riches of His grace. Oh, He is so beautiful, so awesome. So now, beloved, we are sons and children of God, says 1 John 3, 2. And it has not yet been revealed what we shall be, but we know, I know, but we know that when Jesus is revealed we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is uh, first John 3 3 and everyone who has this hope in him in Jesus purifies himself you know what this is the turnaround purifies himself purifies oneself yes as Jesus is pure and holy Revelation 1 7 says that every eye shall see him. Every eye is going to see Jesus. Look the scriptures up. Zechariah 14 1 through 5. Zechariah 8 23. Isaiah chapter 2 verses 2, 3, and 4. Isaiah 66 19 through 21. Now back to um, 1 John 3, 2. 1 John 3, 2. I, I need to share this because this is going to set you free. 1 John 3. I must share this. Uh, my wife always tells me, don't go too long because if people don't have time. People don't have time to, to be watching 30 minutes. Well, in the Philippines, you got to buy another load if you ate it up. But if you got... Uh, if you got metro, you got free, you, free minutes, free internet, free everything in, in the U.S. 1 John 3. Oh, help me, Lord. 1 John 3, verse 2. Okay. Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be, but we know that when He is revealed, when Jesus comes back, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. And everyone who has this hope in Him, in Him Jesus, purifies Himself just as He is pure. Now, it has not been reveal what we shall be but we know that when he is revealed we shall be like him you're going to be like jesus a glorified body a new body a new body a new body you're going to have a new body just like his amen no uh, no flesh no blood amen it's going to be beautiful now uh this here is still unfulfilled true prophecy this is going to come to pass it, it has not the, the this verse has not yet come to pass it's gonna happen it's gonna happen uh we're gonna get a new body if, if the lord returned tomorrow uh, tonight 
uh, February 14, 2020. If he came back today, if you don't see me here tomorrow, guess what? You're going to see me up there with a new Hello Baby. <clears throat> That's what I always tell my, my wife. I call her Precious Baby. You're going know, to see me, Precious Baby, in a new body. Not a new car, not a, not a Bentley, not a Mercedes, in a new glorified body. Uh, there's his brother that I know, he's got a, um, uh, a mechanic shop, he's, uh, they do auto body and fender. Uh, they can remodel the whole your body, whatever, you take in your car, it's all bent out of shape, you know what? It's called glorified body, body shop, glorified body shop, Las Vegas, look it up. He's a born again Christian. That's why he gave the name to the shop, Glorified Body Shop. You're going like, whoa, hey, that sounds uh, biblical. Says, yes, I am biblical. Now, this is still unfulfilled, true prophecy that will come to pass. This too shall come to pass. First um, John 3 2, I just read it. Uh, it is not yet manifested what we shall be like, except that we shall have bodies like Jesus' glorified human body. For a spirit does not have flesh and bones, uh, flesh and blood uh, or bones as you, as he has now. As he has now. This will be at the catching up. This will be at the catching away. Okay. A lot of people don't believe it. That's okay. You don't have to believe this one. You can stay in the tribulation. Go through the great tribulation. But in the great tribulation, you're going to have to give up your own life. That's why Jesus came. You don't have to eat. We ain't going through no tribulation, great tribulation. Right now, this, they, these are just the signs of the time. These are just the beginning of sorrow. These are just, the, you know what? But Jesus said in Matthew 24, he says, you know what? But the end is not yet. Well, they're talking about war. Hitler and, 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 um, and Trump, you know, got to get it on and this and that. But the end is not yet. You know, they're talking, let them talk. But listen, you know who you are in Jesus Christ. This will be at the catching away. At the catching up. One is called the rapture, which is not in the Bible, but that's what it means. Rapture means rap, rap, uh, it's Spanish, uh, uh, there's another word, harpazo, the catching up, the snatching. You've got to come over and snatch her away. God, Jesus is not going to let his wife, his bride, his, his, uh, the apple of daddy's eye, uh, uh, the children of God go through the great tribulation to be beheaded, to be raped, to be killed, to be slain, to be beheaded, to be... All this? No, no, no. He loves us so much. We ain't going through no. You, 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 you can. If you believe, you're gonna stay here. Hey, send us a postcard. Tell us how you're doing. Um, the catching away. Listen, I'm just gonna give you the scripture. Do your homework. Open your Bible. Philippians three twenty and twenty one. Philippians chapter 3 verses 20 and 21. First Corinthians chapter 15 verses 51 through 54. Colossians chapter 3 verse 4. Every person will have his own body. Every person is going to have its own body, color and features and characteristics as on earth. This will set you free if you read 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 35 through 54. Okay, now the hope of the rapture is an 
incentive to the reason for the rapture is to purify oneself, even as Christ is pure. First John three three. Read First John three three. Right? The reason we're, we're going to get new bodies is to purify this dust, this dirt, this ugly, this dirty, this, okay? And read First John 3, 3, John chapter 1, verse 7 and 9. First John... Chapter 2, verse 6. Chapter 3, verses 5 through 10. 1 John, chapter 5, verses 1 through 4. And 1 John 5, 18. Okay. So, uh, um, you know what separates us from, uh, from God is uh, when we continue living in in sin, uh, a lot of people, um, you know, say, "Well, you know what? We're, we're boyfriend, we're girlfriend, and you know, it's okay to to to, to live uh, together." God will understand because if she gets her own apartment and you get your own apartment, you're gonna pay seven hundred dollars for one apartment, seven hundred dollars for the other apartment, and let just hey, let just live together we don't have to get married we don't you god will understand god will understand that his word is not going to go back to him empty nor void you know what the uh, listen i'm going to close with this and uh this is what you're going to do i would have you do it now but this is what you're going to do um this is what you're going to do uh, you're going to go before God by yourself. By yourself. Amen. And I'm going to read this, and then later you're going to pray to God and say, Lord, Lord, Lord. You see, because if the Lord came today and you were not right in right standing with God, and and you're, let's say you're, you're living in sin. I don't know. I don't care. I mean, it, it, that's that's your thing. You know, and uh, uh, you won't go. You'll be left behind to go through the tribulation, and the tribulation is going to cost you your own, your own soul, your own head, your own life. Uh, the Lord showed me, um, and I'll get into that later. But right now, First John, you're going to read First John. It's over by the Book of Revelation, First John, chapter one, beginning at verse five. This is the message which we have heard from him and declare to you. This is the message that I've heard and I'm sharing with you. That God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. We're only fooling ourselves. But we can fool all the people all the time. But we cannot fool God none of the time. First John 1 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. You're walking in the light, you have fellowship with Jesus. Beautiful. That's your true love. Valentine's. You have not left your first love as in uh, the churches in the book of Revelation. Nevertheless, I have this thing against you that you have left your first love. Your first love is not your first boyfriend, your girlfriend. It's not your first husband. It's not your, your wife. It's not your kids. Your first love is Jesus Christ. Your first love is God. For God so loved the world that get, He sent His only begotten Son that we would have the redemption through through his blood by his spirit adoption as sons now we are the children of god but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood uh, the blood the blood of jesus christ his son the blood of jesus christ his son john three sixteen, his son see the father has no blood the Father did not die on the cross. 
he had to send a sacrifice for our sins. The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. We say, you know what, Lord, just forgive me. Your word says that if I confess my sins, you are just and faithful to cleanse me and forgive me of all my sins. Let me keep reading here. If we say, if you say you have no sin, if I say I have no sin, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. Uh, I'm not a sinner. Um, I have no sin. I, no, that's for somebody else. That's my neighbor, not me. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. We deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Verse 9, 1 John 1, 9. But if, if, I, if, capital I, if we confess our sins, you don't have to go to the Catholic Church and, hey, where, where's the, the, the little guy I saw here, the bald-headed guy? Uh, yeah, the father, the, the father, where is he? I need to confess my sins to him? Really? I heard a story in, in San Antonio when I was a kid. He said, you know what? And, and the father, he said, really? Little girl, said, tell me more, tell me more. You know what? They're perverts. They want to hear. <laughs> Listen. Go to Jesus. He's praying for you. He's praying for me. If we confess our sins, He, Jesus, is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all sin, from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, I, I have not. I have not sinned. I, I don't sin. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar. We make him a liar. And his word is not in us. So right now, in the name of Jesus, Father, we confess our sins and we acknowledge you, Lord, that without your Spirit, the Spirit, your Holy Spirit, we have no sonship. We're not yours. We're not children of God. If we don't have your spirit, we, in order to enter the kingdom of God, we must be born again by your Holy Spirit that comes in us and makes us alive again. Alive, alive, alive. Redeemed. Redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Forgiven by his grace. We are not under the law right now. See, this is what the Lord is showing me. When the enemy condemns you of your sin, he puts you back under the law. He puts you back in bondage. That's exactly what the enemy wants to do. That's exactly what the devil wants to do, is to keep you in bondage. But Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Jesus came to set us free. We're not slaves anymore. We are the children of God. We are the children, we are sons of God. And we thank you for your Holy Spirit. And all you have to do in your privacy, open your heart and say, Lord, fill me, fill me full. I just don't want a quarter tank. I don't want to have a tank. I want the fullness of God by the power of the Holy Spirit. Share this. Quickly share it. Let someone receive Jesus Christ as personal Lord and Savior on February 14th, 2020. It doesn't matter when you receive this video. Pray it. And when you pray it, write the date down. It's only February. We have plenty of time. We want to see how many souls are going to enter the kingdom of God. We want to see how many names are going to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. When you give your heart to Jesus Christ and confess Him and confess Him as Lord, confess Him. You believe in your heart, you and you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, you shall be saved. For whoever calls upon the name of the Lord is going to be saved. Never mind what somebody else says. Okay. The thief in the cross, he didn't have to run and get water baptized and go back to the cross. Whatever situation, you're in an accident or whatever, you don't have time to go get water baptized. You said, Jesus, he, Jesus said, you know what, today you will be with me in paradise. 
That's the love of God. That's the grace of God. It's beautiful. I was water baptized. It, it, it was beautiful. But then later, I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I'll tell you more about that later. Baptize me with the Holy Spirit. Baptize me as sonship by your spirit. Adoption through your Holy Spirit. Some of us can say, we don't know what that means, but you know, but Lord, you know. You know my heart. God looks at your heart. He sees your heart. He knows your heart. He feels your heart. He, fe he feels what you feel. And he said, give me that burden. Give me that bondage. Give me that law. I'm going to take the law away and I'm going to give you my grace. Because you are saved through grace, by faith, in Jesus Christ. God bless you. Keep us in your prayers. And uh, write me a note, um, something, whatever. I'll let you know where we are in the city of Las Vegas. And we have another church in the Philippines. You're in the Philippines. Uh, drop me a note and, and we're going to get you hooked up. You need to go somewhere in fellowship with the brothers and catch on fire and go tell somebody else about Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray for you. Amen, amen.